telcos all over the world are currently grappling with their AI strategies, and there's no shortage of potential partner companies willing to help them out. And one of those companies is HPE, and I'm talking today with Martin Halstead, Senior Distinguished Technologist, Aruba Telco Solutions at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, to find out how the giant tech company is helping network operators with their AI plans. Martin, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, so we've heard quite a lot from HPE lately talking about various AI activities. Uh, can you share HPE's overall AI strategy and how it applies to the telco sector? Sure. So at HPE, um, we see the AI industry as being, you know, it's a $35 billion market. It's growing at an annual rate of 25%. Uh, but the interesting part for us um, is that 80% of those AI workloads are based on the customer premises. So from a telecoms perspective, you know, that's a very interesting place for us to commit um, you know, a significant amount of resource and effort uh, in addressing. Um, now, what is our legacy in telecoms? Um, and it comes really from um, our years of deployments in some of the largest telecoms networks in the world through our ProLines uh, portfolio. Um, but when we couple that alongside our um, supercomputing platform, um, you know, we've built um, some of the largest and most complex um, supercomputers in the world specifically for handling AI um, for a number of use cases, um, made a number of announcements in that space at uh, HP Discover um, in Las Vegas this year alongside NVIDIA. Uh, so um, our, you know, our strategy for telecoms is to leverage uh, the development works that we have for other industry verticals, um, but equally apply that to the telecom space. And what does HPE see as the top AI use cases for telcos? And how is HPE enabling the development, deployment, and management of those solutions? Well, we see uh, the development of AI-specific use cases in telecoms being split into three distinct areas. Um, there is the customer-facing and resource-facing uh, applications that the telecoms operators use. So these are applications that do the cross-domain provisioning or an orchestration of solution sets. Um, so, for example, um, network slicing uh, could could be um, you know one use case for that, um, but also single domain uh, orchestration as well. So the orchestration of network functions within a data center uh, as a vertically integrated stack um, and the use of AI in those types of use cases. So uh, the second one is network planning and dimensioning. Um, for that, it is all about um, how do you create a digital twin of um, the, you know, the, the telco domain that um, you are attempting to replicate. Uh, and then once you have built that digital twin, you can look at how, you know, the best times for um, doing things like maintenance windows, upgrades, etc. Uh, the third area then is network performance uh, and user experience. And, uh, you know, as we expand uh, service offerings in telecoms, you know, across multiple domains, the amount of different data types that are ingested in order to understand whether the user experience is sufficient uh, to meet the KPIs of the operator becomes more and more complex. And so AI, uh, and in particular machine learning, can help with that. So at HPE, we have a dedicated business unit uh, that develops operational support system OSS software. Uh, and that third area um, of uh, machine learning uh, and moving into generative AI uh, for assurance type use cases uh, is an area um, that we have under development today. So a, a lot of key software developments there, but uh, how is HPE broadening its HPE compute portfolio to enable more consistent and general purpose infrastructure to enable more open and standards-based AI solutions? So HP has uh, 
a number of innovations in the supercomputing area, um, principally through our Cray portfolio. And we made a number of announcements uh, at HP Discover in Las Vegas this year uh, alongside NVIDIA. Um, but uh, when it comes to Pro Alliance um, and the, um, you know, the deployment legacy that we have within uh, the telecoms environment, um, we see the edges uh, for AI being incredibly important. And so to that end, we have um, specific AI-based developments uh, in terms of uh, two product sets, uh, the DL384, two rack unit, um, you know, GPU-enabled um, server um, developed alongside NVIDIA and AMD, as well as the DL320, uh, a one rack unit server. Um, but a lot, uh, also with that, um, you know, and kind of cognizant that the telecoms operators don't necessarily have the skill sets to pull together a full stack solution uh, for AI and build that cost effectively. Um, we have um, also, you know, in addition to, um, uh, you know, our usual um, CapEx-based sales motion into telecoms operators, um, we have HP GreenLake where um, AI can be consumed um, as an offering. And so with that, we have GreenLake Private Cloud AI where we have different T-shirt sizes of AI infrastructure that can be used uh, principally for inferencing and, again, have been developed uh, alongside NVIDIA. Okay, that's a, a good range of options there. Um, so what's next for AI in telecom and how is HPE tackling some of the challenges that telcos will face in 2025 and beyond? So the advantage that we see for HPE in, in telecoms uh, environments is that we have a full stack solution. So we have a full portfolio that can handle um, the intricacies of AI from the infrastructure itself uh, being, you know, our uh, supercompute platforms uh, in the form of Cray, as well as Pro Alliance. Uh, servers and the additions that we're building for them. We also have an ML ops environment from our own uh, software developments, as well as those coupled with uh, NVIDIA. Um, and then uh, our OSS portfolio, um, where we can have uh, applications developed, uh, which would help address the uh, the TCO questions that will um, you know, principally come up from uh, from the operators. So um, from our perspective, we see that, you know, our involvement in AI, in telecoms, uh, will lead, you know, a, a, the, the telecoms operators who are typically um, very risk averse um, in moving to AI, um, you know, we can help them in that journey. Uh, so clearly um, a lot there in the HP portfolio as telcos address their AI strategies. Uh, Martin, thanks very much for, for giving us the overall picture there of what HP is doing and the trends in the industry. Really interesting stuff. And thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.